on your stomach, if you don't use a pillow, it's a bit better, but I still won't advise that. Um, on the pillow, on your stomach, you can see that you can't let your chin lie on that, so your head should be rotated that way or that way. Either way, it doesn't help the spine stay in that neutral position. So I wouldn't advise sleeping on your stomach. Mm -hmm. The head will have to be that way or that way. And if you're like in that position for 40 minutes or more, it's likely to overstrain the ligaments, the ligaments that support the vertebrae. Because when you sleep, your muscles relax. When you're upright and, and, and not asleep, the muscles tense up to protect you and hold your head upright. But when you sleep, the, the, the head drops like that, because the muscles let go. And the strain goes on the ligaments, and the ligaments get inflamed. It's a bit like when people go out, at, you know, Saturday night, come back, they want to watch the telly for a few minutes and go to sleep, and they fall asleep mm -hmm. on yeah, on the sofa. They wake up and it's like, ooh, Monday morning we get calls like that. <laughs> <laughs> Always Monday morning. Um, yeah, so you want to watch that. So I wouldn't advise, you know, on, on your stomach, but on your side, apparently, when you sleep, it's a bit like the recovery position. When you sleep and you're relaxed, your muscles relax, your tongue relaxes. If you're on your back, most people snore when they sleep on their backs. That your tongue falls backwards, so then you snore more. But when you're on your side, if when the tongue goes floppy, relaxed, it falls to the side, and that actually clears your airway. So I recommend sleeping on your side. That's provided you don't have a shoulder problem, provided your mattress will take you. <laughs>